as you've heard, welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. Today, we are heading back into the flames of the Nether DLC with even more levels. We've gotten a ton done, but still two more remain at the least. We have Soul Sand Valley right over here. If we take a look at the story, Dark Dunes. The Soul Sand Valley is a bone chilling part of the Nether that even the boldest of warriors dread to tread. Gather your wits and hold your weapon close as you cross the shifting sands. So this one seems like it could be quite difficult. We are currently at a power of 55. So I can't quite do this one without a struggle. Maybe we'll keep with this number four for now, but we actually have everything here found. So we can just sort of worry about going through it and hopefully everything turns out quite well. Deep within the twisted wilds of the nether is a bone chilling place where even heroes hesitate to go. The Soul Sand Valley. Will you be able to safely navigate the haunted sands? I sure hope so. I will certainly try. We've been doing pretty well leading into this. We have a really cool build with our, our souls right now. And you know what? It's Soul Sand Valley, right? So maybe that mixes up pretty well. As it currently seems, we do have seven chests to find in this area. So being diligent will surely help. Yeah, let's go for it. Hopefully we can figure some things out. Oh yeah, we have this, I think we just equipped this last episode, right? This soul bow. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we can earn up some souls a little bit more easily with that too. I'll have to see how everything goes, but let's get started. Oh, these guys are ranged. So definitely, yeah, try to shoot away at them as soon as we can. We do get the scatter crossbow, which is sort of the basic version of the one uh, unique crossbow we usually use. Oh man, they are firing at me pretty quick. I love the little spread shot it occasionally has. Whoa, I did not mean to use that yet. <laughs> we need to earn up as many souls as we can, but luckily with arrows, it's pretty easy to do that now if we get plus two soul gathering just from that. But if I can also use my sword, because that also has a bonus in soul gathering, we just gotta make sure everything is worth our time. Got some extra food over that way. But I'm supposed to be going to the left, so instead, let's go this way and over here. Oh my, whoa, that was a lot. Okay, I might blast through a few of these guys because that is very painful. But luckily, I don't have to spend much to get rid of a huge chunk of enemies like that. Oh gosh, they really do pack a punch around here. It's worth it to be careful. And I do have my potion if I need it, but I'm trying to save it until I actually need it. Got a pork there, another pork. That helps build the health back up pretty quick. Is there anything? I'm trying to avoid the blue fire because I'm sure that's not gonna feel so good if we run across it. So far this area looks so cool though. I really love how the nether has sort of been revitalized in Minecraft. There's been so much added to it so that it's more than just one big biome in a way, which is definitely what it was more so like before. Here, I'm gonna throw that down that way. And it didn't do too much. So. So far, we're handling it quite well. Open the gate. Because I gotta hit these buttons. Uh, did that do everything we needed it to? I guess so. Let's go ahead and start slicing, because I don't have a ton of arrows at the moment, so if I can hold on to them, that's probably good. But we are full on souls, so I might as well make the most of that. We're getting more souls back, too. Whoa, the double chest, the thief armor, and the... The Bone Club, nice, nice. So as you can see, looking pretty good right now. I wanna keep that going. Got it. So we're making quick work of this area, which is surprising, because my power level wasn't that much higher than it. It was only three or four points, I think. That's enough to make a huge difference, I suppose. I guess it does make sense, because when we do things that are even just one or two points of power higher, we usually struggle a lot. So we need to find four more chests up ahead. Still haven't found any secrets, but that's okay. Nothing too much over there. How about in this corner? Not really. Survive the ambush. Okay, can I get up there? I guess not. Is there a staircase this way? Oh, there is, okay, we're good, we're fine. So I might wanna wait up for like a good amount of them to build up like this, 
And then we can storm through it. Oh, there's a, a blaze over there. Glad I got it. Ooh, there we go. And whoa, the spider armor, that's a, a unique. I gotta take a look at that later. That was a cool reward. Lifesteal aura, melee attack speed, that seems awesome. Okay, we're supposed to go that way, so let's see what's this way first. Always fun to get some unique armor. Not seeing too much over there, but on this side, once again, not much. Looks like we're closing in on level 64 in today's episode, at the least. Might be able to jump up another level after that. We always have to wait and see. What's waiting for us over here, huh? Okay, not bad. And... Oh, got that critical. I guess we picked up a Shadow Brew. There's a lot of enemies here, so I want to do quick work to them. Oh, gosh. Might do it again. Because once again, we're supposed to go that way. So instantly, I don't care for it too much. We are definitely earning up souls and keeping our soul count pretty high now that we have this bow as well. So that's always good. Having a huge shock of them is important if we're going to have the Corrupted Beacon as a part of our core setup. Okay. And let's open this up. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're good to head back now. Oh, this guy's here. Get rid of him real fast. Well, these guys are enchanted, so definitely get rid of them. Because I think that's one of our seasonal thing is to get rid of enchanted enemies. Guess we'll find out soon enough. And we have this TNT block, so if it starts throwing more enemies at us, we'll be prepared. Oh, two TNTs, here we go, stack them up. <laughs> that's always funny. So wait, what's down that way? Uh. Oh, that's not how I get over there. Okay, I see. I do hear what sounds like a, 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 a villager? Huh. That's odd. We shouldn't be hearing villagers down this way, I don't think. There we go, the double TNT. Hopefully that's enough to deal with some of them. It definitely got some. Gotcha. Ooh. And I guess for, whoa, right now, I was going to go down there, but never mind. Game has other plans. Got him. Ooh, I'm losing some health. I'm gonna use my potion and just burn through a bunch of them. Got it. Extra pork is always nice. So what's down this way? Maybe it was just you, the little key guy that I'm hearing. It sort of sounds like a villager, doesn't it? Soul Sand Valley, we just need to find the key, which we now have, and that is supposed to go up here. So I might cash it in real quick just to get this done with, but then I need to backtrack. So we certainly missed a thing or two. Escape the valley. I'm working on it, but first, what do we have over here? This way, nothing. What about the other two ways, huh? Here's a big chest. Going to have another scatter crossbow and some arrows. And we're at 10 out of 10 chests so far. So maybe this will be another really short level. Guess we're gonna find out in a moment. You see some pots to break open. Got it. And I'm gonna blast all those guys away super quick. Get that swiftness potion. And that's the exit right there, I'm pretty sure. So this was a super duper fast level, victory! And it looks like the announcer doesn't have too much to say about it. See, some levels in this game are just so fast and some of them are super duper long. So while that's the case, I don't think we're gonna be done here, of course, in today's episode. Instead, we are just going to um, go to the like, an older level and see if we can't collect some extra stuff. What do we have in here, though? We have another soul lantern, and that's it. So. 
I'll have to compare and contrast a little bit. First, our weapons here. I don't really need this, so I'm just going to salvage it for some easy emeralds. We do have all these scatter bows that I also don't need. Now the armor, we have this brand new unique spider armor with 7 of 155 health, 6% lifesteal aura, 25% melee attack speed. Spider armor, created by the Master Thieves, is inspired by the agile talents of the spider. This is cool. So I might want to equip it really quickly. Whoa. That is so cool. And we also have the cape to sort of match it. It looks like a spider too. Uh, I don't think this works with what we currently have. But it's definitely not bad. Very cool, very cool indeed. We're gonna switch that back over because we're getting so many bonus souls and we just really need that right now. But I'm definitely gonna stash that away in our chest so that hopefully we can consider using it at some other point in time. But I think it's an upgrade of that ninja gear we just recycled. Uh, Soul Lantern right here, this one is probably better than whichever other one we have for sure. So I'll just salvage that and I think that's gonna be it for now. So we'll stash this stuff away, but it looks like there's a couple things to focus on around here. So first, uh, transfer. That's all I need from there. Go to the blacksmith. So our ax is good to go. And it's at 59 now, the fire brand. That's already at 59 too. So if I could make it even stronger, that'd be the best bet. So for 115, it's so cheap that we just might as well keep up with it like that. Uh, let's see what else is available though. For the village merchant, we got Nothing too crazy. Uh, and the adventure hub, nothing too much more, because we do, we just don't have too many missions actually getting completed right now. So we're back to season two though, I think. Hard to tell. Whoa, the soul scythe. I don't know if we've seen this before. It's not too expensive compared to what we have, I guess. So we could try this. A cruel reaper of souls, the soul scythe is unsentimental in its work. I don't remember this at all, and it gives plus one soul gathering, so might as well try it. Of course, a classic pickaxe here too. What about the mystery merchant? Maybe we could get some good stuff. Snow armor, fishing rod, wonderful wheat, and sprout armor. So nothing too crazy, I don't think. So let's take a look at some of that. This sword right here. So I-59, this is 57, so it is a little lower on damage, but does give plus one soul gathering, so does that. Let's try it. I think the attack rate's gonna be faster. And it does give plus one soul gathering. So it has sort of a one, two to it, while this is a lot more like one, one, one. Yeah, the attack rate's much lower, but there's 626 each time. I do think that our dagger is better, unfortunately. Yeah, the powers is so much lower. And for the speed, we do get a lot more of an area to it, but is that really worth it? We have Echo. Some of your attacks can be followed up by another attack in rapid succession. Or smiting increases damage against the undead. We also have Enigma Resonator, which will give even more soul gathering or gravity. Huh. Those two actually add up to be pretty significant, so it's worth considering for sure. I think I'll keep it for now. Now these two I don't really need, so. Gonna salvage them. I think we've seen Sprout Armor before. Health potions heal nearby allies, traps some poison nearby mobs when rolling. Sounds like it. Okay, so what about this wheat? I'm guessing it's better than this wheat by a significant amount. Uh, and this fishing rod is at 55. This one's at 47, so yeah, a little bit better. So overall, we're getting things figured out. Um, so yeah, we can go into some older levels now and try to get some stuff done there. So if I were to go back to the mainland, we can see what we're missing. Now, I know that there is some stuff that we want to avoid. This stuff, I accidentally clicked the cutscene. I'll include it in the episode where we actually check it out, which is this stuff. Um, but there are some ender eye things. We don't want to do those now, I don't think. Uh, we want to try to get those some other time. Uh, those will be their own episodes. But I think for right now, there are other levels that we could get to, you know, at the Mystery Moo level. There's some artifact here I haven't gotten. I wanna get this, which is weird because I've definitely completed this level before, but the power here is 51. So we should be able to do this. Start this mission, go through this Mystery Moo level that we've done before, but we're doing it again. And hopefully, yeah, I can skip all that stuff. And we're pretty powerful at this point. I think we could handle storming through this quite quickly, but I guess we'll find out, especially now with this 
Corrupt the beacon, we can get rid of big crowds of enemies quite quickly. And that was our struggle before. Last time we were here was that the the boss was just very difficult. But I probably want to keep my arrows. Um, so yeah, let's try to save up as many arrows as we can. Whoa, look at this giant TNT. Why did it bounce like that? That was weird. Not so happy about that, but it's okay. Yeah, I could just hit them all with this. The only problem is I'm not getting too many souls for that. We do get another scythe already. I don't know if that'll be better than the one we had before, but I'll take a look soon. But yeah, our goal right now will just be to earn up as many souls and arrows as we possibly can. Just so that we can hopefully get to the end. Whoa, we got some enchanted cows down that way. But on this bridge, we could actually sort of funnel them. It's like a bottleneck. And it makes it much easier to farm them up. This is great. Without anything else, this is some good experience, right? We still need to get to level 64 in today's episode, so don't want to miss that opportunity. Come on, gotcha. So let's try these enchanted cows. Because we are full on souls at the moment, so we could just try to burn these guys down super quick. And that worked out pretty well. We got another soul crossbow for that, but more than anything, we get level 64. Cool. They do attack for a lot, though. So I just had to be careful at some spots. They do as much damage as I can. Got it. So yeah, I think we're heading back this way now. We got a couple more. Which we're back to being full on souls, but hey, at the least it's easy experience. These enemies aren't tough, they just swarm you is the big challenge. So keeping distance is pretty important. I can use some souls to get through it, but I don't want to use too many. Got it. Oh, here's a big cluster of them. I think I might want to just dodge by and then get, do a good blast because it really doesn't use much. It's great. But there's another big cluster of them. I just don't know if I'd be able to reach them too well from here. There's another problem. <laughs> this is so silly. Oh, I can sort of kind of hit them. Enough so that I can hop on and they won't beat me up too much now. Okay, here comes a huge chunk of them. They're charging in. I need to use my potion. Okay, ready, bring it back this way. That's not quite lined up. That's sort of the only downside to the beacon is that it can just be a pain to make that kind of thing work. Whoa, the, 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 the brew, the shadow brew, really came into use there. Now look at how many cows there are here. It just goes on forever, it's crazy. Got it. We still have lots more. <laughs> that is so powerful though, it's crazy. So I think we need to head this way. I'll grab that potion for sure. And now we're storming through them. We're doing a lot of damage now, 864 per swipe. We're not, we don't even need two swipes to get rid of them anymore. I don't know what changed that we're hitting such consistent criticals. Maybe it's because we have more souls or something, we do more damage. Oh, now it stopped. So maybe it was just lucky, really lucky, just sort of percentage chance there. Okay, well, we're about to make it to the boss fight. And this boss fight's really difficult. We couldn't get past it before, at least at the level we were at. So let's see if we can do it this time. Throw the TNT over, and I'm just gonna start hitting it with arrows and just Really just try to do as much damage as we can for the time being, because what ends up happening, right, is it's going to, oh boy, throw these things, and they're so difficult to dodge. So that's what I'm afraid of, and we still might end up losing, you never know. Because it never really gives you a chance to attack, it's just gonna do this forever. No, okay, wait, maybe it does. Okay, oh boy. But eventually, it gets back to doing its thing. It doesn't give you too much time. The more we back up, the more we can sort of avoid that stuff. 
Come on. Got it. Ooh. Okay, so I need my potion soon, but then it's just right back to it again. And this is by far, and it's so silly to say this, but this is by far one of the most difficult fights in the game. Oh no. Oh, I fell off the side. I didn't realize that was, I don't know why, that just sort of blended in. This is our chance to really do some damage to it and get past that first phase and then get back to this. Oh no. It hits so hard though. Got it. It just gets so little chance to attack during this phase. And this, the phase is most of the fight is the problem. Ah, oh, and I almost got through that too. Darn, now when I get back there, he's gonna be doing that same attack pattern again. Okay, let's get to it. At least now I have my potion. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Ah, oh, come on. It's so hard to dodge. Come on, blast it again. We are getting farther than we did the last time we did this step, so that's pretty huge, but we are officially out of souls. Ah, no, 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 come on. Dodge it, dodge it. I am not doing very well. Super frustrating, but we are so close to getting this guy. If it happens again, I'm probably just gonna lower the difficulty and try again, but I'd rather that not happen. I mean, right now he doesn't seem to notice me too much. Ah, maybe I'll just hide. Hiding might just be the better chance here. Cause I don't have any souls left. So if we just wait here, I'm hoping after a while he'll give up on doing this. Yep. For at least a moment. It doesn't seem like very long because it isn't. But I got at least one soul out of that, right? Or not. Oh, there it goes, it just took a moment. Okay, I can slice through you, no problem. A little bit more. The cows actually are going to make the difference here. They are the difference makers. Because now I just go on them again, or not. What? How did that not do any damage? Okay, he's doing big slam. Oh, here we go again. Come on, we we're so close to getting this guy. So close. We're not gonna lose now. If this is a strategy I have to do, it's what I'm gonna do. Come on, he's gonna give up on this eventually. It's just not working, that is so upsetting. So I guess we're doing this the slow and steady way. I am out of juice for that. No, 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 no. Come on. He's trying to blast me with these again. Oh no, that was a mistake. But then he's back to firing them again. Can I get him? At least a little bit? Oh gosh. Come on. Now that I have some distance on him, he's gotta chip away. Uh. That's it, that's it. Needing to spawn in more cows now. Doesn't seem interested in doing that. Okay, slow and steady wins the race at this point, right? Oh my goodness. Come on, I almost got him. I think he's broken. He's just standing there. So we do get a soul scythe, which is pretty cool, but we, lo we can leave the island now. Oh my goodness, that was ridiculous. Okay, so with that done, what are we going to get for just getting out of here, right? Victory, we did it, we survived the the, the Moo Madness. Jeez. See, so there should be an artifact we should get for that we don't have. I would love to get it just so it's done. Let's see, opening this up. Enchanted Grass. Just as there are powerful heroes who answer the call to fight, there are powerful enchanted sheep who will join the fight when summoned. Huh, that seems interesting. So we wanna go ahead and equip that just to take a look. Right there. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, that's so cool. So this little enchanted sheep will join us. I love it. And they're just following me around now. That's so cool. So will they help me fight enemies? Like this one over here? Maybe? Maybe not this enemy specifically, but. That is good to keep in mind. Obviously for what we're currently set up for, I think this is better, but very interesting, very, very interesting. All right, well that was definitely a cool thing to do. Oh, this is, Curse Axe, this is a unique. 302 melee damage, spin attack, defeat mobs, explode. Uh, this Curse Poisonous Axe leaves their victims sick for years with just a single scratch. Definitely wanna get this thing. Wow, um, the Grim Armor. 
Ooh, souls gathered, life seal aura, grim armor invokes a sense of dread for the one who wears it and those who face it in battle. So the souls gathered is definitely worth considering. And what about around here? Anything new, anything cool? I don't think so. Oh, I can't afford it. I have spent way too much recently. <laughs> okay, so guess we'll have to start saving some of our cash here and there, but let's see. What is the best one out of these? That's 213, 192, 230. So the first one we got is still the best one. So we can drop these, but this is pretty cool at 58 attack damage. I don't know if we'll be using it exactly anytime soon, but as you can see, it really packs a punch. I like just getting as many of the uniques as I possibly can. So there's that one done, very cool. So if we go back to the storage chest, I can at least pop that in there. Well, I think I gotta re-equip this for now. There we go. I need to reorganize this at some point, but we do also have this soul crossbow that's 47. What is ours at? 60, and this is a feral soul crossbow anyways. So yeah, those uniques, definitely worthwhile. Uh, and we also have a soul crossbow right here. So. Uh, I guess I'll dump this one. I just don't need it. And for our armor, I don't need this phantom. Actually, this is also souls gathered. This is 30 range damage. This is lifesteal arm aura. Hmm. How much? This is also though. See, that's where it's difficult. These are good. Don't get me wrong. But this gives me artifact damage, which is the whole point of our build. And this gives increased souls damage. This just seems to be better for our setup, I think, because these aren't going to give that same benefit. So you know what? I'm gonna salvage, no, 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 cancel. Put that there, doesn't matter. I just wanted to salvage this and then salvage that. I don't know what's happening with that thing over there. Uh, I don't think there's too much more we can do today. We can maybe go through one more level because it was it's been a bit of a short episode, but I got the green check there, which is what I was looking for. Uh, there's also the tower here. This is a different thing. Don't need to worry about that. Uh, I think in the meantime, I want to get this back over. The tower is, yeah, that changes every day. So, or actually every few weeks or something. There is a creepy crypt, but I have everything here. I don't know why I don't have the check mark then, I wonder. Weird. What about this one? I could still get something here. Soggy Cave, we've been through Soggy Cave so many times recently. Oh, I'd like to go somewhere else. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, crazy that this is the whole game. It doesn't really feel like it when you're playing through. It feels much larger. Uh, a lot of these I've gotten, so it's weird that I don't have the green check mark. Maybe because I haven't beat out a higher difficulty, so it doesn't technically count. I could try Lower Temple. There is one missing here. So let's try Lower Temple at this difficulty. Hopefully we can storm through it pretty quick. Okay, so our goal for this one is to find the Golden Key. These are all levels we've beaten before, of course. So I'm not gonna trouble myself with defeating every single enemy. If we get to level 65, that's great, but I think I just wanna sort of get through it and see if we can't find that extra artifact. Oh man, yeah, the mummies are here, and the spiders hold you down. All these big flame attacks come in. Gotcha, so these guys, they pack a punch. Even though this is, you know, an earlier level, it doesn't mean it's exactly gonna be a walk in the park. It's gonna be a walk through the tomb, or the temple. Can zap through those guys pretty well, though. If I can get rid of enemies in my way, that's always worth focusing on, but I just don't want to go super duper far out of the way, is all. And the faster, the better. So I can get rid of all those guys. Back up this way. That guy punched me pretty hard, but, whoa, that's right, these shield guys, I forgot about them, they're not pleasant. And this guy too, he's not so fun, but we stormed through him. Artifact coming in to save the day, again. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's powerful. I'll use my potion now. Probably didn't need to pick up the bread then. Okay, let's get rid of everybody. Good enough. And I'm supposed to be going this way. 
find the golden key. Gotta be around somewhere. According to the game, it's over this way. Oh, I see, this is where the door is. But we haven't found the key just yet. Gotcha. And it looks like I could somehow get into there. Probably with a lever somewhere. But I'm not too worried about it. Here's the key, so I at least know exactly where to go. Grab this, and we're zooming. Oh, they don't like that, huh? Well, not my problem. Okay, we'll open that up, and then we can fight them off. Uh-oh, Enderman coming in. There he is. <laughs> we did some pretty good damage to start. Back it up. He's now he's chasing me, that's always scary. Oh no, oh no. Get rid of some more enemies. So I can just blast him, just blast him, and he's down. Excellent. Because we could go through this and still not end up getting the artifact we wanted. Okay, that one TNT went flying. But there is a level 65 already. Wow, okay, that actually went pretty fast. You know what, let's just get rid of them. Because that guy's always big and mean, and it's just easier just to blast through him than so be it. Oh, come on, that doesn't reach. Let's go higher up so that I can reach him. There you go. I'm stuck in the spider web or something. But yeah, it's interesting how the Flames of the Nether has some really long levels, some really quick ones, and in general, there's a lot more levels than your average DLC. Usually there's only three or four stages, but now all of a sudden there is uh, like six of them, so that's pretty crazy. Got it. I'm grab this one, and I guess we're going into the, uh, the cave. Here you go, you guys can have that, maybe. Uh, they get some of them. Most of them survived, but the mummies are pretty beefy. I'm stuck again. I'm gonna try to fill up on souls all the way this time. Because these enemies are quite easy to just sort of stab through at the moment. The mummies are just the scariest ones. But there we go, we're at full souls. We're supposed to find our way, oh my goodness, here we go, ready? Oh! That is so of the enemies just mowed down. We'll get a lot for it too. Lots of fruit, potions. Love to see it. Okay, that's everything from that side. I guess I was also hitting some of the enemies over there. I guess I'll grab this, because it's right there, it's easy enough. It's just stuff I'm going to be recycling. But that's important still to have the recyclables so we can earn more emeralds, especially since I spent so much of there that I, I just, I didn't even realize that I was spending that much. Okay, back through here, wait. Was that not where I'm supposed to be? That doesn't seem right, but maybe I could just go over it. Oh, so maybe that was all just a bonus anyways. Okay, well, so be it. Who's chuckling? That sounded new. I'm not sure. Huh. Leave the temple. I'm working on it. Trying to get out of here. Hey now. Oh, the spiders are taking a bite out of me. Oh, and that's it. So a very quick level if you storm through it like that, which I certainly don't mind. So there we go. Another victory for us. Three levels completed in today's episode, even if we rush through two of them, I think it's pretty good. That's probably where we'll leave it. But let's see if we get a new thing here, because we're still looking for the one. I'm doubtful, because there were so many others we could get. No, we got it! Buzzy Nest. Bee lovers and the bee loved alike are fans of the Buzzy Nest. But don't be fooled by the cute bees within. They pack a powerful sting. That seems cool. So yeah, let's take a look at this one. When the buzzy nest is placed on the ground, bees who will bees who will fight beside you begin to spawn. So let's take a look at that really quickly. So I just place it down, and some bees spawn in. Awesome. I like it. But it looks like we got another thing completed here. Let's collect it. It's now at a power of 60. 
which is great, but I'm just gonna chuck it right back in there if I can. Get it more and more powerful. So these bees are coming in, which is great, but I think if I can, I'll swap that over. I might have to wait until later. I don't need the battle staff. I'll keep on to this, but I'm pretty sure I won't need it. The trick bows, we don't need. And same thing with these. Okay, awesome, so fairly productive in today's episode. Next time around, we'll be hopping back into the nether to tackle what might be the last level of the area, the nether fortress. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.